all right i got camp all set up welcome everybody i hope all is well i had a late start this morning so i just hightailed it out here found a camp spot and now i'm gonna be chilling the rest of the time i am getting over being sick i had some like 48 hour bug whatever I just have this congestion and sinuses right now. And I will say that the weather has, I thought it was gonna get colder and colder, but it freaking, it got cold and then it got warm again. It's freaking in the 70s. Let's see what the temperature is right now. I gave this a minute. It is 67 degrees outside right now, man. Freaking gorgeous. But I am going to chill for a little bit, kind of decompress and just go from there. So there's just a little bit of light left. I am enjoying the fire, it's getting down. Once that wood goes down, I'm actually gonna start cooking. So I am making, I'm making hot dogs on the grill. Um, I guess you can say I'm making chili cheese hot dogs. That's what's gonna be my dinner. But I was thinking like when I come out, cause I wanna come out camping and I wanna enjoy my time, I was like, What's something like, and literally this popped in my head, what's something disgusting, delicious that I can uh, enjoy while I'm out camping that's super easy? And chili cheese hot dogs popped in my head. So I was like, all right, that's what I'm gonna be making. I also did get some bread. Um, I'm gonna slice that up and you know put a little bit of olive oil and grill it as well because I got, um, it says it's hot dog sauce, but it's pretty much just ground beef with a bunch of seasoning in it. Um, I'm gonna enjoy that as well. I can't even think, man. Oh, I'm telling you. <coughs> I was also, uh, I think my water's almost ready for my tea. 
All right. <clears throat> I was also early today. I was going to go over. So someone commented about like what I do for my protection when I'm out here. So, you know, you know, essentially my safety. How do I keep myself safe while I'm out here? And I was like, oh, man, that's a great question. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go over some of the stuff I do um, in one of my videos in, 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 today. That's what I was going to do today. And uh, I just didn't do it. <coughs> I have the stuff. I'll probably do it tomorrow. All right. I cannot think. So I'm just going to go ahead, dice up, prep everything that I need to prep. And then when the fire's ready, I'm going to go ahead and cook.
All right, my food is done. I mostly cleaned everything up. Here's what the fire looks like right now. And go ahead, take a look at my food. So here are my hot dogs. I already doused them with cheese. Here's some cheese on the side. So here's that like meat sauce. I put some avocado onions and then here's that bread I toasted. All right, I am going to enjoy my food, the fire, my evening. It's only like, oh, on, let's see exactly what time it is right now. It is seven o'clock, man. Still got plenty of time to uh, enjoy the fire and I have plenty of wood. All right, anyways, I wanna eat. So I will see you guys at some point tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Oh, there we go. Mm. Ah, that feels good. I had to take the sweatshirt off, man. It's freaking beautiful outside. It is like sick. Oh, let me check. Sixty-five degrees outside, man. It's gorgeous with the sun. Ah, can't beat it. All right. So something I was gonna do yesterday that I'm gonna do today now uh, is I'm gonna talk to you guys about what I do to pretty much stay safe out here. You know, the few things I do. I can do more, but uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is because someone actually asked me in the comments uh, what I do for protection out here. And I gotta say thank you because that question actually got me to do something that I had been planning on doing ever since I started camping. But I'll get to that in a second. So um, pretty much what I do for safety out here is, in all honesty, when I'm exploring, especially looking for a new camping spot, is I listen to my instincts, listen to my feelings. Because honestly, that 
and nobody ever talks about this too, which is, you know, surprising and yet not surprising. Um, it's, I mean, you got to listen to yourself. If something doesn't feel right, move on. You know, I've camped in spots, like even this spot, like this morning, um, <coughs> when the sun was getting up, I heard coyotes all around me. I mean, they weren't close, they were far, but I could hear them, but I still felt safe. That That's one of the big things is I just listen to my instincts and I trust if I don't feel right, I move on. If something feels right, then I'm like, cool, this is the spot. Now, when I'm at camp, the biggest thing you can do is keep everything clean. And what I mean by that is all food, food waste, you clean everything, put it all away and store it. Don't keep it out in the open so it's easy for critters and animals to get to it. Because an e that's all animals are looking for is an easy meal. So you can't make it easy. And a a another rule I have is I don't put any food in my tent. I don't, I, uh, that's, and now, granted, I have done it maybe two or three times because like if it's raining and I want to eat, obviously I can't do that outside. I remember there was one trip, it was so windy that like there was no way I was able to do anything outside. So I had to go inside the tent, but again, cleaned everything up, made sure there was no food residue. Um, I even would open up the windows to air it out a little bit after all the food is out. So the smell can, you know, most of the smell can go away. And, you know, at, just like when I go on hikes or exploring and, you know, when I go to bed, Everything goes in the truck and I lock it so nothing is easy, easily accessible. Now, if something were to come to camp or like, you know, when I'm out exploring or whatever, I do have the only things I had were these two knives. This one's pretty cool because you can wear it as a necklace or you can have it um, on a belt. Um, yeah, and it just pops out and locks in place. Perfect, and there it comes with some rope, so it has multiple um, utilities. And then I have this knife as well. Now I will say, these knives up until I got that question stayed in my center council in my truck, which pretty much rendered them useless if I needed them in a in a pinch. So ever since that um, question, I've actually started to keep these out at certain spots of camp. So if I ever need them. In an emergency, I have something. Now for, I guess, the big news and the huge thank you to the person that posed the question. I'm sorry I can't remember your YouTube handle, your name. Because of you, I actually got this. I got a freaking bear horn. So... <coughs> I'll read about this later and everything, but I got this bear horn because, I mean, there are bears in Arizona. Oh, and fun fact, uh, something I found out from a co-worker is that Arizona has the third largest population of coyotes in the U.S. I don't know about the world. So I have this bear horn. And then, obviously, with the bear horn, bear spray. So I finally, finally got bear spray. This says remove after purchase. So I will be removing this. And I will obviously read and know how to work this. And the reason I will know how to work this is because I want to know what it's like spraying that. And <clears throat> when I was looking up stuff, luckily they have a training unit. So, oh, that's my phone. Um, yeah, so I have this. So I am going to test it out. I'm, I'm going to see what it's like to spray this. You know, and something that is reminding me, hold on, let me take this off. All right, adjust this. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so in talking about the bear spray and how that comment inspired me to get that and talk about this is someone as well left a comment about my umbrella and where I got it and they liked it. It's a pretty awesome umbrella. And I do apologize because I am remembering now that I said I was going to leave it in the comment section. I was gonna, you know, look at it and leave it in the comment section. 
so you'd be able to get it. I am going to do that, but uh, I'm also going to leave it here for anyone else that's wondering. Here we go. I'm going to come up here. There you go. Hopefully I got that word. It's the Wonder Shade. It's pretty cool because it actually works in high wind and you can, it comes with spikes. You can spike it down here and here and over there. And I think it works up into 45 mile per hour winds. Now I did bust it. I, it got caught on something. I pulled too hard and this ripped, but that was my fault. That was user error. Still love the umbrella. Talking about the umbrella though, canopy. I don't know if you guys noticed in this video, but if you take a look, you'll see that this part's kind of down a little bit. And if you haven't watched uh, whatever video it was, I talked about it. When I was putting this canopy away on one of my trips, this leg bent inwards and it bent all around here. So I am guessing I probably have two to th three, maybe if I'm lucky, more trips with this canopy before this really bends and it becomes no good. What do you guys think? How long do you think it'll, it'll last? What's your guess? I'm going two to three. I'm going three. Let's, let, let's, yeah, three. I think I got three trips in this. Hmm. All right, I got my tripod. So I am gonna try the, I'm gonna use the training unit bear spray. There is no wind. The wind was kind of blowing in this direction. So the thing about the bear spray is wind direction matters because if the wind's blowing at you and you spray it, it's just gonna spray right back at you. So, let me grab some of these. Now, when I looked up the weather, it did say the wind was coming from the east, which is that way. So I may spray this way. Let's see, I'm gonna throw this up and we'll see. Wow, that didn't do jack. Yeah, there's virtually no wind. Okay, I'm gonna spray it that way and hope for the best. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna set you guys up over here. All right, let me set up real quick. All right. So take this off, come on, there we go. So this will stay off and then I'll obviously take it off the actual unit. All right, let's read the directions. So like this, and then I guess you pull this back and then you spray, ooh, I can feel the wind kind of going that in that direction. Okay. So the direction said, press trigger for three seconds in order to create a barrier of spray. Stop to evaluate the impact of wind and other factors. Okay. Here we go. The wind's going in that direction, so I am kind of spraying in the right direction. I think this has a 33 foot rate, you know, distance. All right, that was good to uh, experience that, you know? Now I know what it's like to spray it. There was like a little, I could feel like a little like kick like this ever so slightly when I pressed the trigger. All right, so I'm actually going to relax, chill, lounge, be lazy, 
and eventually I'll pack up and get out of here. But this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. So just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is, and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care, guys.